Do you see that structure there? That needs a new roof. That is about 25 by 25 square feet. There's another structure here that also needs a new roof, but it's shaded by that big thing here. Let's go inside and discuss a Tesla solar roof for that bad boy. Because today, just today, this day, it's online and we can order one. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's go through this website. And did I introduce myself, Mel Herbert, for the Talking Tesla podcast? So now I'm on the website and here's how it goes. So you, you'll go to tesla.com forward slash solar roof. And there's a rotating series of images that uh, show these beautiful solar roofs, the different types. And we saw these at the reveal event that was in Hollywood in October of last year. Now, unfortunately, right now, only textured and smooth is available. Whoop, where did it go? Textured and smooth are the only ones available. Um, Tuscan and slate are not available until next year. So that's the first downside here. Then the next step you go in is you put in your uh, home address or wherever you want this installed. And what happens then is that the website uses Google uh, Project Sunroof and it goes down and it works out what it thinks the usable area by looking down with the satellite from Google, what the usable area is for your roof and then gives you some sliders and tells you sort of some estimates of what you might be able to uh, make this roof for, how much it might cost and how much you might save based on a number of different assumptions. There's some really confusing things about this, though, that really don't make sense to me. I've played with this, put in different numbers. And this slider, first of all, over here, I want to max it to 100%, but it says, well, you can't necessarily max it to 100% because, um, well, there might be shading and other issues. Well, that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, you can put in your monthly bill and try and work out how much you're going to reduce it by, but it doesn't get really granular. It doesn't tell you exactly what size of a, a solar array that you're actually putting in there. A lot of us want to know what's the exact size and what's the efficiency and... A lot of that detail is not there. It also doesn't tell you about whether these are microinverters or string inverters, sort of geeky things that a lot of us that are used to putting on solar have. But having said that, let's sort of go through it. And here's sort of a classic example. Let me put in a 2,000 square foot uh, roof. They say that's going to cost about $53,000. So the cost of the solar roof that Tesla was going to put on is going to be $53,000. And they explain that that is to tear down the old one, to put up the new one, but it doesn't include things like if you've got skylights and other complicated things, that would be additional. This is a standard tear down, put up, pretty simple roof. So it may be higher than that, depending on your circumstance. Now, is that a reasonable number here in California? 2,000 square foot house, 2,000 square foot of roof, uh, asphalt. That's pretty expensive. Now, that's about $25 per square foot. You can do it for significantly less than that. Some roofs are actually significantly more than that when you get into fancy roofs. But you've got to really keep a close eye on that number, get some sort of quotes from other people, because it might be way more than you could otherwise get a roof for, and you have to decide if this solar savings is worth it. But having done that, then you can work out how much net after solar savings this roof might cost you. And how they do that is they say, well, we're going to put in this solar roof. It's going to uh, make some electricity through the assumptions that uh, you're using your zip code. They say this is about how much you're paying for electricity right now. And over time, it should go up by about 2% a year. That's sort of the average that it inflates. And this is the number here, $83,000 over 30 years, amortized over 30 years. And they say this roof's going to last that long or even longer. That you're actually going to net out here um, $38,000. So after you pay for the roof, and then you've got your solar savings and some tax credits, you're actually going to save $40,000 over the 30-year lifespan of that roof. Now, Tesla does this on their cars. They do gas savings, they do other things. But it, um, it all depends on the assumptions. Now, also in here, you can put in power walls. And I initially put a power wall in, and then I took it out, and there's some weird sort of thing that's going on where they're minusing uh, $7,000. So let's just put one power wall on there for fun and see what happens. Um, it doesn't actually change anything at all. Let's put in uh, eight power walls. Oh, now it's changing things. So if you wanted to, and I wanted to do this, I wanted to put in like seven power walls. Um, and instead of having a 2,000 square foot roof, like that one we showed you at the beginning, I just want to put a roof on that thing, which is 625 square feet approximate. Now, they actually don't tell you, again, whether this is a solar roof that can go all the way to the edges of your roof. Because in California, you have to have offsets for solar panels. It's probably not true. You don't have to have an offset here. This is so the fireman could walk around your roof and not on your solar panels. Uh, for this type of roof, you probably 
doesn't matter, you can probably take it all the way to the edge, but we don't know, they haven't said. So much that's unsaid. So for my situation, 625 square feet, I want seven power walls, which is about 100 kilowatt hours, which would run the house for three or four days, plus, you know, fill up my car. Uh, the cost of the roof, they're saying, is about $14,000. And the power walls uh, in there, the cost of the power walls is about $40,000. I got a tax credit. We're talking uh, 17000 net cost over 30 years. So this would actually cost me money to do this. Um, I'm putting in a, a roof. I'm saving some here, but I'm putting in a big, giant battery backup. Um, I'm actually going to be a little bit out of pocket. So it depends on all your assumptions, and that's key. So if we go down here, you know, they show you some pictures. How do you get into this? You put $1,000 down, very similar to the Model 3 event where you had to put $1,000 down to get on the list. Some good news and bad news. They show some pretty pictures of simulated hail hitting their solar roof versus sort of a standard terracotta and other things, and it stands up pretty well. Some people have criticized the methodology of this, but I think uh, that these glass roofs are going to be pretty good. Um, a little bit about weatherization, 30-year warranty and all this kind of stuff. The value of energy we talked about, it's basically what's in your area plus 2% per year. And uh, then you go down here and you get some bad news if you're not in California. So estimated installation timing, they say they're going to start installing in June, which is fantastic, in California. Only if you're in California, because they're going to use the factory that's here. I think it's the old Solyndra plant that went broke. Uh, they're going to start there, and then they're going to go to a Gigafactory 2, which is in New York. And uh, we don't know what that rollout's going to be. But for those of us in California, if you're early on the list, you might start to see these being placed as early as June. And I can say to you, I'm going to get this installed. We're going to do our 625 square feet. Um, and then I'll tell you, are they using microinverters? Are they using string inverters? Uh, how does it look? How does it tie into the batteries? How does this thing work? What is the actual kilowatt rating for this system? And we'll be able to give you more information. And I'm sure they'll leak out more information over time, but still there's a lot of information that we know don't know. But the exciting thing is that uh, it is happening. And California, we get to be the test. I'll be your test for you because I want to install this and then we'll give you more information. But there's still a lot of granular information about exactly what you're getting for the price that we don't know about. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the Tesla solar roof. We're excited about it. A roof which makes energy, which in the future we believe most houses are going to have if we get the pricing right. They look beautiful. Will they last? What's the real cost compared to other roofs? Uh, what's the rating of these in terms of kilowatts per square foot, for example, compared to just putting up solar panels? Maybe it's cheaper to just put a really cheap roof and then slap some solar panels on there versus doing this. Still a lot of things uh, yet to be determined. We'll talk to you soon on Talking Tesla Podcast. You know, every week, check it out. iTunes, Herbert out.